So hello and welcome to a uh, sort of supplementary part two. Okay. Here we go. It's on the grind series. I'll try and show you some things when I go in and pick it up the load that will feature in the next proper part of this so FTs. What do they actually do in the game? Well, let's concentrate going around here. So if you press F1, that actually pauses it. Pauses the game where it is there and release it you just press F1 again. F2 will bring your mirrors up. Mm. One press brings the opposite side onto what you're actually truck driving. So if you're driving left hand drive like I am it brings the right hand side mirror up there in the top corner. Press it again, it brings up the left hand one and press it again it removes the first mirror it put up, press it again it removes the second mirror there F3 right it's this is just the same it's just that my bar looks a little bit different here press F3 it brings that up there obviously that bar is normally down below there you do it so you press that and it's again that's how you turn the gaming built one it comes up on and off so if your truck has one and you're not fostering with that one on and it sit again it smooths it all together so uh, and then f4 that brings up your vehicle adjustment light uh, here so if you've got a truck with spotlights on the front on the roof and on light your light bar slots uh, uh, pull bars and things like that on the front this is how you would put a tick in front auxiliary which is the ones on the front of the truck your roof ones are the ones on the roof and so they can turn your beacons on and off but turn beacon on and off it's just presses the not uh, the OK on your keyboard to turn the beacon on and off so that's and if you press it again it's how you can make adjustments on your mirrors so you get them how you like them and to follow what it says on there which mirror you're adjusting and which way etc and then you and then this is how you alter how you view in the truck uh, how you sit but this is all personal preference here but it does tell you exactly what does what there so and that's that one and <sighs> press it after it gets to that screen it disappears altogether so and then we right if you've got your unscreen map up like there you press F5 it alters the zoom levels of it so you can zoom in or you can zoom out and then F6 I've already explained in the previous video that tells uh, what your load is but we'll cover that one again in a press F5 to get rid of that one by the way but I'll cover that one when get there F7 is your this menu which brings up how damage your truck is, trailer and cargo and uh, to view the services you press enter and then you come up with some options here so I've got total service there which is listed up so if I clicked on that and pressed enter it will take me to the nearest red spanner basically emergency refueling your truck does have to be stopped and got its fuel warning light on use it so you can press that press enter it'll say how long it'll take in game time to cover it and how much it actually is it is expensive where to get fuel but if you run out it is a godsend actually <clears throat> that's to adjust your trailer but i think that only works when you've got your own trailer on because some trailers have slight slide adjustable axles and things like that on so that's how you do that when you're unloaded uh, to dismiss your own trailer you would just click there and to clear that it's obviously F obviously click the X there need it F8 is if you've got any emails or short message or anything 
F9, I've forgotten what it does. F10 takes a screenshot. At least we can do that with the inside or outside the truck. F11 is if you find a bug and you want to report it, you just put there and then you can just type in hole or something there. Then you'll click on report and that would obviously I think get sent to SCS. F12 is a screenshot one again and that's the F key so I'll covered so you know, that um, let's cover this briefly right so the camera position what you're in now is number one the default interior cam number two is like a angle cam that's outside so you can round and things like that Number three is the camera which is reversing, so it's facing forwards there. So it's like an upper head cam there. If you put the truck into reverse, the camera automatically just that's above you to show you what's behind you, which is useful if you're parking. Uh, number four cam is like a cam above the roof, it's an outside view, etc. But on some trucks if you have some of the big light bars, a lot of light bars <sighs> off your view might be slightly obstructed in this camera view. Number five is like an over the shoulder view there which you can use for when you're reversing and when well, mainly reversing and manoeuvring. It's like some of the truckers and don't stick their head out the window to actually see where the back end of the trailer is. Number six is like a camera that's just in front of your front, front bumper, which is very useful. Number seven gives you like a view from one side of the truck, so if you've got like suspension mods and things, and you'll be able to like see the wheel turning and the suspension working like this, etc. Uh, now we're on to number 8 cam which is like a flyby cam uh, which you've probably seen my trying to drive on that and that's a bad example of it and um, number 9 cyclostro <sighs> with h -Cress, it's like to show the different cameras that's available and to return to interior view, we just press one or a key you have bound to your Turn interior, left. so... Go straight on. And that can close that, but I'll... Pull there. Turn left. I'll pick up the load that's uh, going to feature in the next part of the series. So, I am actually in Malmo because this is recorded straight after part 14 so if you watch that all the way through you'll know where I am so click on I know it's a freight job we're gonna do so gonna go across the Vilnius in Latvia in the next part so just check the job there it's a blue delivery now I know I'll get a couple bit down the road before I have to sleep so to switch on to number two cam. You want to see? Actually, what's where? But if you're using different cams, you have to also keep an eye out where different bits of trucks are. If you don't normally see them and things here so I'll never get that so here is reverse back then go a little bit forward so it brings it uh, and that's what perils are being on a camera that is camp so that enables me now to get a better line up and this is number three cam so you can see exactly where the truck is and then we'll line up with the trailer there 
I got the material cam so obviously I'm break on knock that off, knock that off because parking up aren't we so and that so and that concludes a guide to the F keys and the different camera view so thank you for watching. Let's go do that so 10 10 for now stay safe on the roads and talk to too many accidents goodbye till next time